Hey y'all, it's me, Anna. Thank you for tuning into my channel. I told y'all we was going to do a little wellness, some chit chats, and talk about boss life. But um, I just came from an event, so y'all can see how your girl is looking. Yeah, I'll, I'll pin this dress so y'all can see like where I got it from, whatever. But so yeah, I am here, y'all. And I wanted to do a, something exciting a video so i am i have the honor of planning my best friend's gender reveal and um i have the results so her sister already knows what the baby is but i don't know yet so i was like you know what let me do my little video myself and see what the baby is so right now she has two boys and a girl her girl is the baby and her boys are older they're in high school and her daughter's in elementary school so i'm team boy as y'all can see right and i know y'all probably like this girl gonna keep showing this dress off but i actually love it it was a target buy so it's pretty pretty decent so i am definitely team boy y'all and i'm really Whatever the baby is, is perfectly fine with me as long as it's healthy and um, the gender really doesn't matter. But just for voting purposes, <laughs> just for voting sakes, I would say that uh, I'm going to come back a little bit, y'all, because I'm sitting on my bed and my bed is really low. So just for right there, that's good. Yeah. So just for voting sakes, I would say that I am team boy. I do prefer boys. I have two and two, but... I would have loved to have three in one so that I only had like one little girl. But, you know, God gives you what he wants you to have. So I am perfectly fine with that. <sighs> Let me give you a little backstory about me and my best friend. So we met in 2020. So, hold on, shit. We didn't meet in 2020. What the hell am I talking about? We met in 2010. We met in 2010 after I had my oldest. And um, we worked together at McDonald's. <laughs> so it was my first time working in fast food. And I met her. She had this real, real boss bitch attitude. Um, she used to always be ready to jump on people. And uh, she just was always ready for whatever. And that was how we connected. Both of us were from the hood. And um, we had... a. Uh, family members who knew each other but we didn't know each other until we started working together so um we connected instantly over just that that hood girl mentality and I feel like we it wasn't long before we said we were best friends and that's crazy because I don't have a lot of people that I consider my best friend but um yeah we became best friends instantly we've uh weathered our relationship experiences together um, she's been through some things. I've been through some things. We both are married. Um, we're going to have the same amount of kids now because I kind of idea her having my little ones back to back. Um, she's always been a great friend, extremely loyal. I love her. She is truly my sister. I know I can call on her for anything. She's always ready for whatever. She still has that mentality and she's matured a lot, of course, because we are now a little bit older. We're not who we were almost 14 years ago. So <laughs> did I do my math right? 14 to 13, y'all. Yeah. So it's 2010, 13. Y'all know what I mean. And, um, Yeah. She was my bridesmaid in my wedding. She didn't have a wedding when, um, you know, she just got married and that was it. She's not, she doesn't like weddings and stuff like that to have, but she loves to be a part of them. She's been an amazing best friend auntie to my kids. Uh, she's been just, uh, she's overall an incredible person who does not give herself enough credit. She does not take enough self-care days. She's constantly working. She always thinks about people, so I'm excited and I'm so honored that she chose me to with her sister to help plan the gender reveal for the baby. It's weird because she kind of is like paying for everything already. Um, she told me what she had in mind. I created, I'll put, I'll put it right there. I created her gender reveal invitation and it's so cute. Um, so she's doing everything off of that thing. Y'all I'm hot. My kids are there playing and, <coughs> and I got a little cough and, um, so y'all don't kill me in the comments about the little cough. 
like y'all know, I got kids. One 13, one 10, one is four, one is two, the four and the two year old. I don't even know who brought home the cough, but they brought home a little cough. So I have that. So I don't have nothing else, but back to why we're here. So I told y'all I have her results. So I'm so excited. I'm so excited to uh, find out what, what the baby's going to be. So I figured I would open it with y'all. I, I told myself, I was like, I'm going to wait until my makeup and everything is done. And I'm kind of cute so that um, this goes like that, y'all. So that I could read it. So it's taped. So y'all, this this is my first time. She gonna kill me. Cause she thought a gender reveal was to find out that she thought if she gave us the paper from the doctor that we weren't gonna open it until it was time for her to find out what it was. I'm like, sis, we're planning this for you. So we have to know what the baby is in order to do like the games and stuff and to tell you when you find out. So yeah, so let's see. Oh, yeah. she's so excited. Oh, yeah, she's going to be so excited. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. She's going to be so... Oh, hold on, y'all. She's going to be so excited to have another boy. That is what she wanted. Look at God. She deserves to get what she wants. She is going to have a boy. Oh my God, y'all. I'm so excited y'all see that it's a boy. Oh my God. I'm so, congratulations, sister. You're gonna get your mom. Oh my God. I don't wanna scream because the kids see everybody out there, but oh my God. I am so excited for her. She's gonna be so happy. All right, so today is March 18th. I just came from one of my events that I um, put together with Tribe of Sunflowers. It was a bubbly and business event. And the gender reveal is April 22nd. So I will make sure I continue the video to get y'all the entire day in her reaction to what it is. But I know she's going to love it. Oh my God, I'm so excited for her. This is what she wants. Oh my God, so she's going to have to... Punch nobody in the face at the gender reveal, y'all. It's a boy. So, um, yeah. Oh, my God, y'all. See this video when she knows because I don't want to post it on my channel because she is subscribed to my channel. So, this was just a quick chit chat, y'all. So, um, I think she's going to be happy. She told me she wanted a boy. So, um, yeah. So, if y'all got some boy baby names in the comments, tell me what y'all think the baby's name is going to be. So her oldest is Jakari. Well, not Jakari is not the oldest, but her oldest is Tavares. Then she has Jakari and then she has Janaya. So what do y'all think baby number four name is going to be? Tell me in the comments. And the person who get it right, leave a comment and leave your cash app. And I'm going to cash out for you a little gift if you get it right. All right. Leave the comments with your guess of the baby name and then leave your cash app. And then when I do another video, I'll say who won the cash app. Oh, this is so exciting. I'm so happy. She's going to be so freaking happy. Whew. Yeah. So that's that. So thank y'all so much for tuning in, watching this video. I appreciate y'all. Y'all know this is just a little chit chat on a Saturday evening. And if y'all have any ideas of things y'all want me to talk about, wellness, chit chat, and boss life, um, feel free to comment me. Follow me on Instagram or tweet me on Twitter at the Anna Inspires. Later, y'all. Oh, but she got a character. Um, I'm doing a video.